Hi there and welcome to another two minute tutorial. My name is Natasha Kalsadi from Sammy's Photo School and let me show you how we can utilize the color editor in Capture One to create a quick mask. One is known for its powerful color adjustment tools. Let me show you how we can use the color editor to create a specific mask and therefore utilize it for uh, lightening or darkening or softening or anything else you can think of. This tip will show you how to create a mask from a certain color. So looking at these baby bison, um, they uh, are definitely uh, a different color than the grass obviously. So how can we utilize the fact that they are a different color to create a mask? I will choose my color tab. Inside my color tab, I have the color editor. I will choose the advanced color editor. I will take the eyedropper tool and I'll sample the color of the baby bison. Maybe about uh, there. Now that it's sampled it, I can see what it sampled, so if I isolate that color, everything will turn black and white except the color that I've selected. Well, I can see that the color was selected pretty well, but the tree trunk right here is a similar color, but I think that will be okay. We can modify it a little bit uh, better later. Now I can also create a tighter mask. You see how it either expands or I can tighten into a specific color, but we're not gonna do that. I can also open it up a bit more and introduce more reds, or I can really kind of shift it towards the oranges. And let's see, yeah, I definitely don't want any yellows because there's always green, green always has a lot of yellow in it. Okay, so I will isolate it to about there. Okay, so the color is isolated, but I actually want a mask. So if I, I can turn off the view selected color range, and if I click on the little dot, 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 I could choose to create a mask from, I could create a masked layer from the selection. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now notice I have a layer right here. And so I can now manipulate just that color. Um, let's say I want to bring in a bit more clarity. You see, it's only the bison that are changing. So I'll just make them a little bit punchier, a little bit more structure, and then maybe a little bit darker. Bring down the highlights a bit maybe bring down the brightness a bit and maybe I also might make them a little bit warmer and you see it's all happening within that selected area now if you want to remove it from certain areas of the image I'll press on the letter M so I can see the mask and now I can click on my eraser tool or press the letter E and with the eraser tool, I'll make sure that my eraser tool is at 100% flow because I want to remove all of that color from over here. And I don't think it will make a whole lot of difference if I have a little bit of the change of the color around, but you obviously could erase that too. And I'll press on the letter M again. And now it's mostly just on the baby bison. Or you could keep on erasing different little areas. Hey guys, I hope this was helpful in your selective editing. If you are new to Capture One, check out my online classes. I have a link down below for you. Uh, while you're down there, also give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know if you would like to see other tutorials, and um, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell. That would really help out our YouTube algorithm. And thanks for watching, and see you next time.